everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. Elsie Rowe here and we're doing a little bit like a little easy video, mostly little book challenge. So I don't know. My goal is to keep this up. We'll see what happens. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I read this week and I want to hear what you guys read too. <laughs> also guys, the last comic video did great. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning into that. I really appreciate it. So guys, I'm going to tell you about the book that I just finished reading. So this book is actually a bit of an oddball for me. I don't read a lot of poetry books. This is Winter, Winter Roses After Fall. You can get it at Target, Walmart, they're everywhere right now. It's by Robert M. Drake and H.R. Sen. It's beautiful. Like the poems in here are beautiful and they hurt, that's the thing. They're beautiful and painful is the best way to describe it. Like there's one poem in here that I bookmarked. Hell happens so that heaven can be realized. And then there's another one. Relationships are gardens. Be with someone who will do anything to extend the life of a rose. It's just like little beautiful lines like that. And it's such a good book. It's a very quick read too because it's poetry. If y'all can see, there are some pages, they're just lines. And then there are others that where it's like, like this one poem is four pages. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And originally when I was reading it, I wasn't entirely sure what was going on because again, I don't read poetry. <laughs> so I love poetry, but it's definitely one topic of books I don't always focus on because it's difficult to read. And I, at least for me it is, because it's not tangible. This one was all about, at least from what I can take from it, was self-love and also a lot of pain and accepting that things happen. It's also a lot of moving on, a lot of going for, going forward after, after breakups. A big theme in this book is cheating. The aftermath of cheating, that rage, that sadness, that depression, that, that weight of a relationship that's crumbled away. It's, it's honestly, it's painfully beautiful, this book. It's beautiful and I totally recommend it. If you're in a good headspace, I say go for it. It's beautiful. There's a couple of poems I had to skip because, not because they were triggering. One second. There is just a couple that um, I didn't relate to. I've been fortunate enough where I haven't actually been cheated on yet. I'm, someday it's probably going to happen. I hope it never does, but it might. You never know. And, but there were a couple of lines that I didn't understand. And that's okay. I don't relate to it all. But the poems that I did relate to, they are just, ah, it's just, it's so beautiful. It was hard for me to put it down. I had to set timers on my phone so that way I would stop. But there's just, ah, there's just so much. It's just so, oh my God, it's beautiful. It's just not, there's a theme of cheating. There's a theme of how love doesn't always Day. Sometimes you just fall out of it and just, ah, oh, it's just so freaking good. That's the best thing I can say about it. But yeah, it's, I absolutely love it. And also for context, the reason why I keep doing that is for some reason Poe doesn't enter my little corner. This is my little corner of the room where I like to hide and read. So I thought I'd show you guys my little corner of the world. Um, and Poe for some reason does not come into this corner and I don't know why. He. They've never stopped him from coming in here. I don't know why he's not coming. So he'll literally drop the ball out of reach, so I have to keep moving out of camera. Oh, and some talking to our cupcakes. He's like, yeah, but I need to read. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely love this book. I think it's amazing. It's really, if you like poetry, I think you're gonna love it. If you're going through a relationship breakup or you get it, you need a place where you need to heal from a relationship, I think this book would help. It's really good. I really like it. If you like poetry, go for it. Sorry, the, I also, yes, I know, I am that off, I am that reader where I, where I doggy tag some of my pages, some of my books, uh, some of my pages. Because there are just some of them that are just like, just like beautiful. Like, look into the mirror, lead yourself back to you back to home like it's just some of them are just gorgeous and I'm picking all the cute and fluffy ones there's a lot of dark ones not dark ones there's a lot of like 
intense one that is being an emotional heart. They're just beautiful. This book is really good is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I really like it and I would recommend if you guys like poetry to go for it. I really liked it. And guys, I hope you see this. This is a little sticky note that I'm starting to put in books that I've read. This one I finished on the 21st. I wrote, it's beautifully painful. Some poems are marked. Not all are perfect, but definitely worth the read. I really like this one. So guys, this like little segment of our show is kind of similar to what I did a way back a while ago on the channel called Books of Tea. I might go back to doing it more for like more formally as doing a show like that. I will do it someday. It'll be after I get up everything's organized. This will be like a corner read or something where I'll tell you guys about the book I'm reading or maybe once a month we'll go over some fun books things. Cause I do want to get back into reading and hopefully you guys can keep me accountable. So this is a book that I really like. It is going on my bookshelf because I really enjoyed it and has a sticky note so it's marked and safe. Where did I put? All right, one second. I have misplaced the book that I was going to show you guys. Where did I put it? Here, one second. Oh, what's that? Where did I put my book? Here it is. Aha. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, you came into my corner. Good job. <laughs> oh, give me, come here. Oh, come here. Really, oh, still not coming into my corner. Come here. Okay, so I've actually picked out two books that I'm gonna read, so I'm not entirely sure which one to do. So I have Nora Roberts, Carolina Moon. I have never actually read any of Nora Roberts' books, but my boss basically was like, do you wanna watch a movie? And I'm like, sure, and we watched like eight of these movies. So Carolina Moon was the first one that I watched with her, and I just, oh, it was, whoo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry y'all. Here, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Tony Bourdine grew up in South Carolina in a small rundown house where her father rules with an iron fist and a leather belt and where her dreams and talents had no room to flourish. But she had Hope, who lived in, a big, in the big house just a short skip away and whose friendship, Tori, allowed Tori to be something she wasn't allowed to be at home. A child. <laughs> that's gonna be, that's from me. After Young Hope's brutal murder, unsolved to this day, Tori's life began to fall apart. And now she returns to her homestead with plans to settle in and open a stylish home design shop. She's determined to find a measure of peace and free herself from the haunting visions of the past. And she forges a new bond with, with Cal... <laughs> Y'all know it's gonna be the love interest. Cade Lavelle. I'm not gonna say that right. Cade Lavelle. We'll go with that. Hope's older brother and the heir to the family fortune. She isn't sure whether the tragic loss will share or unite. Will sh will build build <laughs> the tragic loss will sh will share. <laughs> the tragic. <laughs> The tragic loss they share will unite them or drive them apart. But she is willing to open her heart just a little bit to try. Living so close to those unhappy memories will be more difficult and frightening than Tori could ever have expected. However, because Hope's murder murderer is nearby as well. And then it keeps going and I'm like, okay. I remember this movie. This is a really good. This is a really good movie. So I am very excited to read this. <laughs> I want to tell you guys about this, but we are almost at ten minutes. Oop. So we're gonna start with this guy for our next video, for our next little time. We will catch up where I talk to you guys about books, and I'll tell you about Carolina Moon. Thanks you guys so much for tuning into this video. And I know I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm still training my eyes to get used to them, so you're a little blurry, but mm, I can read mostly. <laughs> So it's hard for me to read but i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will leave links below in the description for this book that is finished and this book that i have that i'm about to start hope you guys have a good day bye